In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make timers with Streamlabs Chatbot. My name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European Time, on Twitch.tv slash I also have a Discord server where you can ask anything about streaming, feel free to hop in and just ask. I'll leave the link underneath in the description below. So let's jump right into Streamlabs Chatbot. I've already set things up like I'm connected to Twitch and to my bot. If you haven't done that, you need to do that before. So how do the timers work? What we need to go is here in the left, we click on the timers. As you see, I have a lot of timers set already, but most of them are off. So how this works is if you have multiple timers like we have right now, um, for example, they're in the general tab, if I set the timers to be on every five minutes, it will pick this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. It will not put them all at the same time. So let's start out with how do we actually make a new timer. In the top right, we click on the plus, and then here we can name our timer. It doesn't really matter how we name our timer as they don't actually see the name, but it's only for you to remember what it is. So let's say follow. Now we want it to be active, so we want it to be true. And we want to be used in our Twitch chat. We can also put it in our Discord chat or both in our Discord and stream chat. Therefore, you need to connect your Discord with your Streamlabs chatbot. So let's just keep it on stream chat. And here, group, if you want it to be a timer that's running all the time, you can just leave that empty. If you want it to be a timer for a specific game, what you can do is you can do these um, brackets and then game and then the game. For example, Overwatch. But that can be any anything. So it can also be um, Fortnite. And now um, this timer will only run when we're playing this game, this game category. If we keep it empty, boom, it will always run. So I'm just going to keep it empty for now and we're going to type a response. So what I want is I want to let people know that they can follow if they like the stream. So let's say um, don't forget to follow if you like the stream. Now, every so often, this will be set by my bot, TreeBot, because that's my bot's name. Don't forget to follow if you like the stream. Now we're gonna submit this. What we want to do is we want to set a time that it actually triggers. So now we don't know when it's triggering because we didn't set the time for it yet. We can do that by going to this gear, the settings in the top right. Here we see link timers to commands. We keep that on false. By enabling this, a command will also be created with the same name and response. So then you can basically also trigger it manually. But we're keeping this on false because we're just working on the timers here. Then here we have the interval. This is how often the bot will say it. So for me, it's on 15 minutes. I would recommend not keeping it like a lot lower, like five minutes, because then it kind of gets spammy. So I recommend keeping it on 15 or more minutes. So now every 15 minutes, my bot will say, don't forget to follow. Um, or one of the other ones that I actually enabled. And then here we have minimum chat lines. This is uh, how often does somebody has to say something in your chat. So if somebody says hi, that counts as one chat line. Every time there's a new message in your chat, that's a new chat line. It can be you, it can be anybody in your chat. So now if there's three messages been sent in our chat, and 15 minutes have been passed, the bot will say our bot message, our timer. If we lower this to zero, now it doesn't matter how many chat messages has been sent, but it only looks at the time. So think of, do you want this to be included? And how many lines do you want people to be set before the trigger actually goes off? What we can also do is we can delete some of these if you want to. Um, so for example, this one, guide, we can click on the X, yes, and now it's deleted. We can also click on one of these and then click on the editing and then we can just edit them. Uh, this is the one for the Discord server. This one is being in the general. This means that it's always been posted. We don't have to play a certain game for it. Here we have like one from Overwatch that is only being played when we're playing the game Overwatch. That a hands are made! <laughs> so it doesn't trigger if we're not playing that game, because that wouldn't make sense to trigger if we weren't playing that game. Here, Life is Strange, Tree is Strange too. It wouldn't, I mean, it, I guess it, <laughs> it would be funny if it triggers without playing that game, but it would be really out of context if it did trigger without playing that game. So we've got some game specific ones and then we have some uh, general ones as well. To make this work, you need to make sure that you have your bot account and your streamer account connected to your 
bot because otherwise it doesn't work. You can do that in the bottom here and here you have your Twitch bot and here you have your streamer account. You need to make sure that those are connected otherwise this will not work. Another thing you want to do is you want to make um, your bot your bot name a moderator in your chat. You do this by typing slash mod and then the name of your bot. Uh, for me that's Treebot, but that's whatever bot you have made for your Streamlabs chatbot. If you want to know more about Streamlabs chatbot, I have a whole playlist full of helpful videos, so just hop into this playlist with me and I'll see you there!